In this tutorial, we show you how to create a lift mechanism by rotating a mesh to make another object go up and down like you see over here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, so we're going to create a lift mechanism. Press numpad 1, front orthographic view, select this default queue, press tab, go into edit mode, press G, Z, 1. Click, tab, go into object mode. Now the center of gravity is at the bottom. So that's just something I like to do, which is neat. Press shift A, mesh, and we're going to select a torus. Use whatever object you like, RX 90, and S scale is puppy down, so it's more appropriate. G, X, bring it somewhere here, I guess and then G, Y, uh, Z, and chuck it there. Perfect, zoom in, shade smooth. And we're gonna make this a rotating um, object that will move this lift. So if that's the case, let's choose this cube, rename it, L-I-F-T, select this and call this manual lift lever, or mechanism, should I say, is probably more accurate. Create a new collection. And there you have it. Now, anything that can be keyed, you can assign a driver to instead. So we're gonna select this lift, and we're gonna go, we wanna make it go up and down the Z axis. So we've got a location over here. If you don't have this, press N to make it open. Click on items with lift selected. Hover over the Z axis, axis location, right click, add driver. Once you've added a driver, you can go down here to your timeline, lift this up, click over here and change your timeline to your driver's menu. Click on your Z location over here and you can, pre you can click on this over here or press N to make it pop open and then click on drivers. If you don't see drivers, make sure you've got Z location selected. Right, so we already got a variable set here, a variable expression set here, which is fine. All we need to do now is click on the object that it's connected to, uh, which would be the manual lift mechanism. And we want this to work on every time we rotate the manual lift mechanism on the Y axis, it will make the lift go up and down. And you can use the world space. When you use the, let's scroll down here, update dependencies. When you use the world space and you press R now, because we're in front orthographic view, it looks very neat and nice, which is probably what you want. But you do have other options here where you might want to choose, let's say, um, lo local space. And when you do that, let's zoom out. You press R. It doesn't look as clean. So in this case, I might prefer world space. All depends on what feature or what effect you're going for. And you can always just change this here and just update the dependencies and it will work perfectly. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is my very first tutorial on drivers. I'm gonna go deeper into this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.